my name is Mint, and I want to welcome you back to some more Tales of Basiria. We last left off, uh, fighting a bunch of boars uh, in order to get meat to buy medicine for little, little Laffy. Laffy, right? Oh, what, what was happening? Let's see. Hey, sweet cheeks! Here's a puppy! Go. For groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. It was fine. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Couldn't even... Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh, of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But Ow. I your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. Preach it, sister. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. What are we doing? Oh. Oh. That makes sense. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Hmm. So, my older... The older sister Selica had a baby. That's uh, another comfrey. I don't. I don't know. If, am I even going to need you? Can't I use a side entrance? Come on, game. Now, what is this? Celery. Ew. Actually, celery's all right. Laffy, what are you doing out of bed? Are you drowning uh, stuff? Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. Told you. I was only up for a little. Nah, <laughs> you're full of shit. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. Wow. This is a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. Revolutionary! And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Laffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? 
It's pretty useful. You can tell me more about it later. <laughs> you can tell me more about that witchcraft later. That strange Does sorcery. You? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. Hmm. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. Hmm. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Laffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right. Cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Oh! Finally, some gameplay! Minty... Minty's cooking sim. Is that the stove? Must be. It must be, yeah. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, velvet? Ethanol. Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Is there? I guess we'll go see. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, there Not we go. Spicy hot, but oh, so delicious. Oh, yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's Boys. coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A uh, girl Hmm. Gross! You're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. I Not thought she was... Gonna... Velvet, you should be <laughs> more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Quick, grab the curry spice. I can just jump, alright. But oh, yeah, he's right here. He's right here. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. Oh. As long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. Aww. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. 
For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Dead. And give me some damn time to talk. Holy sh. Observations of the Nameless Empyrean. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. How do you squint your eyes right out? Oh, I can't leave. Uh, I guess, uh, wait, what is this? The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Ladylike? What the fuck? She's very ladylike. And, and hardcore. And that is... A nice mix. So... Oh, I don't actually get to cook. Boy, you didn't forget your medicine. No, we didn't have it. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Hmm. So I'm, uh, place your bets. I think something, something's going to go wrong. Morning. <sighs> okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? Little, where have you gone? Maybe he's outside. No, try not to yawn. I've gone to the village alone. Ah, uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Hm. He can draw one hell of a compass. I'll give him that. That's pretty good. That's really good. Man, so just more cutscene filled dialogue. So, uh. I don't have a whole lot of room to talk. Hopefully, uh, this is just like the beginning of the game, and then we'll get more. We'll get on to more actual playing. Hey, has Luffy set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. What? A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. What? Lafayette, did he really copy all that by hand? Damn. Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free. But he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. Yeah, not greedy. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. So he's been around here. Velvet, I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Huh. Okay. 
All righty then. I know. <laughs> he might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. You did say you wanted to go to the Cape. Huh. So Lavi says gone missing. Um, and appears it appears he has gone to the Cape to look some look for some flowers. I believe that's the end of the forest. I already went through. Uh, but till next time, I'm gonna end this one right here. That's right. I'm gonna do it. But I will see you in the next video. I want to thank you for watching so fucking much, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, the usual stuff that everyone asks for that I also ask for, because it makes me feel nice or not. It doesn't make me feel nice. It makes me feel warm and cuddly. But you have an excellent rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Toodaloo.